Good day everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick and I hope you got your bowling shoes on the wrong size as normal when you go bowling. Anyway, this game is called Championship Bowling on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on where you are in the world. It's been published by Mentrix Software in 1993. It was also known in Japan for some reason as Boogie Woogie Bowling. I don't know uh, why. So we're going to go for a normal game. There's a bonus game or a spare game. Let's play it on uh, normal. This is my first go on the thing and I'm a little bit scared because I'm trying to think how can they make bowling an interesting uh, game, 10 pin bowling anyway. Uh, versus, uh, we'll do versus the computer uh, here. I'm a little bit worried. The only other bowling game I sort of played was as a mini game, Tekken Bowl. I think it was in Tekken 3 on the PlayStation 1. Uh, right, or was it PlayStation 2? Anyway, it's one of those. I'm going in first. I can pick any one of these people, Mark, Linda, Leroy and Dana. Uh, Leroy's right-handed. What does that mean? We'll pick him anyway. There he is with dodgy graphics. Uh, we can pick our bowling ball out of all them. I don't know what difference that makes, but it's a different colour, so hooray for us. Got a very basicness about it for 1993. If you had this one back in the day, let me know. We're at the Rainbow Bowling Alley and it's fast playing. Let's play. Right, okay. So first of all, the crowd have gone a bit nuts. I, right, okay, I've got to line this up first of all. Then I've got my spin indicator. Stop that where you want. Stop that where you want. I don't know what I'm doing here. And maximum power. What's that going to do? Well, it's not them all over apart from one as I blow smoke out my nose for reasons we don't know. The crowd have gone, the crowd have gone insane. Maybe they bet their house on the thing. Uh, looks like uh, um, the people are, um, yes. Let's get that there. And then I've done it, have I? Boom. That seems fairly straightforward. The crowd are repeated every few inches for some reason. Good, well done me. Here's the computer here. Doesn't look like there's a much to this thing. Maybe other stuff will happen. If you had this one back... Oh, she's got a strike, hasn't she? If you had this one back in the day, let me know. Uh, you get points for how many you uh, get down each time. If you get a strike, your next uh, a bowl is worth double. I'll just play one go of this. I'm not going to play it forever. Might be more exciting with two human players. Come on, get that. Strike! Yes, it was a strike. I, when I said start, it said strike. I didn't think it was. Well, on my second bowl, I've got a strike. How quickly... Is this game going to get boring? The music isn't particularly exciting. Right, boom. So if you can't go bowling, if you've been banned, uh, then uh, possibly play this game. Now, if you know of any other bowling games, apart from Tech and Bowl I mentioned there, then put it in the comment section below. She's not going to be able to get both of those. That's a split. She's using a red bull. Computer versus me. Mentrix software. So all you've got to do is the position here. Then what spin? I don't know what what spin is down the middle, I presume. Then angle, and there we go, and power. As much power as you can get. Oh, I was hoping for another strike then. So yes, there's not a great bit of variety about this. I've pretty much seen all there is to the playability within the first couple of minutes. Not sure what longevity this game would have had in it. Um I seem to be quite good straight away. Presumably when you beat your opponent, you go on to the next round and play someone else. Now, I do like darts games, and one can argue there's not too much about them either. Uh, so I suppose it's what your background is, really. Tempin bowling, darts. I like 180 on the spectrum and wacky darts. So, you know, it's, it's games for games, isn't it, really? Um, I'm not big into bowling, although I've gone when I used to work in offices on do's and stuff. And I wasn't particularly good. I'm better at bowling on this than I am in the real world. But I didn't look anything like Leroy. I got more muscles than him. Right. He's looking like a fouled character rejected from the Simpsons cartoon. Music is getting a little bit annoying now, but if we try and maximum speed strike. No, one left over. What's that stuff he's blowing out of his nose? I think the guy might be on artificial substances to be as good as he is. Right, we can get this one. There's only one left. Straight down the middle. Boof. We're going to get that. Boof. Kaboom. How many of these bowls do we have to do in each game? I don't know. Very important if you go bowling in the real world to remember your turn so you don't take someone else's turn in error. Why has she done that? She's gone right wide. No, no strike for you. What's the scores here? Can you see what the scores are on this thing? I'm trying to keep up with it, Ray. Turned up briefly then. She's doing it to the side. She'll probably get both of those. Miss, 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 miss. Oh, she didn't. If you're not very good at bowling, the ball will go down the one of the gullies, either the left or the right hand side each time. I haven't done that yet. Right, come on, let's get a strike. Strike, 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 strike. Please get a strike. Ooh. No, two left. 
If you get a strike, the next uh, um, throw is worth double. Uh, if you get a strike again, that's called that's called a double. If you get three in a row, it's called turkey, I think. Any bowling aficionados will know. What's the largest bowling shoe you can get? Oh no! I've got ones. One, ones I was going to call them skittles, then, but they're not skittles, are they? They're they're pins. What's your highest score in temping bowling? Let me know. Perhaps we'll all meet up on the channel and we'll all go bowling together with our bowling shoes. She's got to strike again. Good word. I'm presuming she must be winning now. So that's 77.86. Yeah, so I'm I'm behind if that first one's me. Come on, a strike would be good, Leroy. Copy what she did. Ooh, yes! In your face! In your face! He's done it again. That's a strike. Good, that's, that's good for points. What's she going to get? Hope she don't get a strike in retaliation. Uh, oh, one left. So, yeah, you know, I outscored her there. Let's get this back and win. So, what can I say about this game so far? Well, it represents bowling well. All the elements are there. The graphics are sort of like okay for this sort of like era. Ha, ah, she's missed it. Uh, but it's not very exciting, is it? But as I said before, I was into darts games. If you play uh, Temping Bowling a lot, probably in the US more, I would guess, then you, you might get more fun of this than I am. Does it represent bowling? Well, yes, it does. Um, how much better could it have been? Well, not a great deal. I suppose the, hey, I suppose the characters could have been a little bit uh, better and more exciting. But 1993, maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh. Graphics are a little bit Japanesey, but, um, you know, it, it was known as Booga Woogie Bowling in Japan, so perhaps it come out there first. If you know that, then let me know. It's a bit Japanese, isn't it? I'm, now I've said that, I'm liking the vibe a bit more. Well, I don't get all three of those over Deirdre, whatever her name is. Hey, she, she missed them all. Now, I'm coming into my own here. I must, I must be winning now with what I'm doing. Right, okay, let's go. Let's knock these down. Let's get another strike, man. Don't, I try not to do as much spinning. Let's get on that side. That looks good. Maximum power. Oh, it, I, I'm, I am getting a sense that my success, much like real bowling, is complete and utter random. So they've regenerated that, okay. Should be able to get this. Line that up. Straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. That must get it. Ooh, buff. He, uh, he gets too excited, this bloke. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Right, I'm on... I don't know what I'm on. I don't know which one's me. Probably the second one. She's got some good power there. She bowls out e damn cheese and gets a strike. Maybe she'll win after all. Good one. Mm, some good scores will be good. One, three, five. Come on, let's get another strike, man. Oh, man, caravan. Strike, 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 strike. Yay! Good one. See, I equaled with a strike of my own. So I've pegged that. She can't get too far in the lead. Who's winning? I think it must be me. What's she going to do now? Oh, she's left three standing. Three pegs standing. Now, if you're still watching this, then well done you. It must mean you like this kind of craziness. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel grow. And by Jeffrey, I need the coverage. Thank you. It's all about clicking and... Um, Yes, and watch time and all that sort of stuff. A uh, big thank you to the members as well who stuck with me through thick and thin. Thank you, most generous, and you're keeping the channel running. Do mainly Spectrum stuff, although we do breach out every now and again on these, these ones as well. Good. If you are Leroy, then comment in the comment section below. Has your bowling got better since this time in 1993? Right, that's easy. I've got that. Oh, bam. I'm so pleased I haven't got it down the, uh, the gully each time. Maybe it gets a bit trickier later on, and that's uh, great from me. I'm winning, I think. I must be the 175 one, surely. It's a fast, it's a fast alley. I don't know if we go to other alleys and they're a little bit different. Maybe that's the case, or maybe there's a way of me changing that somehow. If you know, then comment. Yes. What's that worth? That must be worth points. Great, 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 great. That's a strike. Strike one. I'm getting the hang of this now. But, uh, you know, again, if I played it again, the same sort of thing's going to happen again, isn't it? Oh, she's had a mare there, but got lucky the way they fell over. You lucky girl with the red stripe in your hair. She'll get those, won't she? Please miss. Please miss them both. Oh, well, got two. Left one standing. I'm still standing after rules. Oh, it's the end, is it? Right, what's happened here? The final result. I'm so excited. I'm player one. Oh, look at that. From from two onwards, 
Oh, I think I've won this by a way. I'm going through the card here. How many bowls did we have? Yeah, she was nowhere near me. I finished with 195. She finished with 147. That was a thrashing. Oh, yeah, I thrashed her quite easily. 195 to 147. I am the winner. Hooray! Well, that's that's made it a bit better. You are the winner. So there's the proof. You are the winner. Great job, winner. That's quite a lazy uh, final screen, isn't it, really? And then it looks like it goes automatically into the next round, which indeed we will not play. So we've seen all the gameplay there. If you if you if you want a, a ten pin bowling game back in the day, this was probably um, okay. But uh, you know, compared to other games, it's not particularly exciting. It's fun to dive in every now and again. So what it attempts to do, it does well without being the greatest game in the world. I think that's fair to say. And dubious uh, sound and graphics, but you know, I've got a certain fondness for it, and I don't know why. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Championship Bowling on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, published by Mentrix Software in good old 1993. If you've got um, a comment about this um, video or this game or anything similar or retro, then please put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself. Say goodbye to uh, Leroy and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.